Hello everyone, Elijah here, and let me welcome you to another video produced by Financial Anatomy, the place where we help you take control of your financial destiny. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, side hustles, ways to make money online, as well as investing. And in this video, in this edition of Freelance Friday, I'm actually gonna play footage from a previous video where I covered the number one thing that you need to learn if you're gonna go into business for yourself, whether it be freelancing or whether it be some type of big business. This video was one of my older videos when I first got started on the channel, but truth be told, it's highly underrated. It's not available now. That's why I'm putting it in this video because it's very important. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and play the video so y'all can learn this number one trait that you're gonna have to master if you want to be a freelancer, entrepreneur, or just business in general. Entrepreneurship has been something that people have become obsessed with when it comes to millennials. It's so intriguing, so unknown, yet so exciting, so different from the boring nine to five employee life. But many people that branch off into entrepreneurship, they don't make it very much attributed to this one fact. And what is that one fact? Stay tuned if you want to find out. Hello everyone, welcome to Financial Anatomy, the place where you will learn how to take control of your financial destiny. I'm your host, Elijah. After entering the world of finances right after high school, I saw there were certain universal themes that applied to finances, regardless of what path you chose to earn your money. I've been involved in various financial ventures in my life, such as starting my own business, network marketing, certain positions at jobs like Amazon and Whole Foods, and I also make money online today. And this time around, I feel obliged to give back to the community in the form of this YouTube channel. In my opinion, the educational system has failed to prepare people for the real world, especially the financial world. And I don't think that any young adult should start their financial life with so much ambiguity. I want to take the ambiguity out of the equation, and that's why I started this YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about building up your financial arms and your financial legs because we're gonna be covering income. And entrepreneurship is a certain type of income that you can utilize. But you can look up the statistics, I'm not gonna pull them up, but people say it all the time, nine out of 10 businesses fail, or we're not gonna cover that business strictly. Let's talk about entrepreneurship, because entrepreneurs can be involved in business, but it's not necessarily always the case. But most entrepreneurs actually fail because of a few reasons. Some people say they don't, they're not motivated enough or they're not educated enough. And those may very well be the case, but there's one factor that if you don't have this, you are not gonna be successful as an entrepreneur. It's just, it is what it is. And I don't see that many people talking about it, but it can be summed up in one word. That word is feedback. Yes, you heard me right, feedback. You might be thinking that is a little strange, why feedback? I want you to actually think about what is the world most of us come from. We don't drop out the clouds and become entrepreneurs in today's society. The system has kind of bred us to be employees from the get-go, from elementary school to high school to college. You're bred pretty much to be an employee. There's not much that directly supports entrepreneurship and traditional education. So, what does feedback have in the role of being an employee and even in the school system? Feedback is kind of seen as something to be afraid of. People have, people have phobias about receiving feedback. Think about when you're on the job, you do something wrong, you get called into the office, you get a verbal coaching, then you might get written up, or you have the fear of getting written up, or you don't want to get written up. That mindset towards feedback is the complete opposite for entrepreneur. You need to get that feedback on what you're doing very fast because it affects your bottom line. The faster you get that feedback, the faster you can make adjustments to whatever you're doing, the more closer you get to being perfect, even though we may not necessarily reach perfect, but you get closer and closer and closer. And then the end result is you're gonna start making more money. Whether people are giving you feedback on your sales presentation, like, hey, you're moving around too much, 
you seem too nervous, or people giving you feedback on something you designed on a computer, whatever it is, the feedback is critical. But most people fail to seek it because they're still afraid of it. And this is something that you might intellectually know because I told you, but you got to respond differently emotionally. So no one likes to be caught out on their own, you know, on their own crap. But as an entrepreneur, not only do you need to get used to that, you need to actively seek it out. Because the more feedback that you can get, the more adjustments you can make to achieve your goal. And then likewise, the closer you'll get to achieving it. I mean, a good example of this is how many businesses do you see sending out surveys about customer service, or about how could they improve things, et cetera. They are literally seeking feedback because they know how important it is. But people go into entrepreneurship and they don't make that emotional switch. Now, to be fair, you're not just gonna wake up and feel that way. But it starts with you actually acknowledging that, hey, you know what, this feedback is critical. I might still be afraid of it, but I just need to get over that and seek it. The good news is the more you seek feedback, the less uh, afraid you'll be of it. Eventually that fear will go away and you'll just stay focused on the end goal and you see getting the feedback is just part of the process of obtaining that goal. So if you're thinking about being an entrepreneur, you need to change your mindset towards feedback and stop fearing it. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. From the time we're little, like in school, they even motivate us with fear, like you're not gonna get a good job if you don't make good grades or you're not gonna do well. It's just the motivation is fear. You gotta switch that motivation from fear to ambition and also just a sense of duty you'll have towards the people you're serving, whether it be your customers or your clients. I wanna give them quality work, so I want them to give me the feedback so I can make the adjustments so I can get them that quality work. That has to replace that fear. And until that takes place, you're not gonna be successful in entrepreneurship. But I would actually love to hear what are your thoughts on this below? I'm not saying feedback is the only thing that holds people back. It's probably the most subtle and unknown thing though. But if you disagree with me, I'd, like to, I'd love to hear it in the comments. What do you think is the most critical thing that holds people back from being successful in entrepreneurship? Or just what are your thoughts on feedback and seeking feedback in general? Uh, this has been a video produced by Financial Anatomy. I'm your host, Elijah. If you like this video, a thumbs up, greatly appreciate it. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you're new, consider subscribing. We talk about things about the financial world all the time. And if you found value and you know someone this can benefit, primarily an entrepreneur, please shoot this video to them. It's very critical. So that does it for this video. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny. I'll see you in the next video.